Good morning, guys. Kelly from Mystical Madness. I am going to do a reading for Virgo right now. I just did Taurus. All right. Uh, let's see what Spirit has to say for Virgo today. I did shuffle these really well, but I'm going to shuffle them a little more. Okay. That message wants to come out. So. Oh, my God. Taurus just got the same card for exactly. Um, well, Lots of Tauruses had Virgo in their charts, so you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo. Um, exact card at the exact time, same card came out, so that's kind of, I had to mention that. Strength card, got to have patience. You do, you, you're, you're strong. Um, she's got the infinity symbol on her, uh, tattooed on her arm. A lamb, which is a very calm, blessed animal. Awesome. Awesome to start, Virgo. Can't wait to see this reading now. <laughs> All right, Spirit, please clarify the strength card for Virgo. What does Virgo need to hear today? Two of Wands. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm going to drop these. Jeez. I get so hot when I'm sitting here doing this. I feel like I wasn't. <laughs> Maybe all the the love that was in the last reading got me. <laughs> okay. So there's a two of wands. That's a decision needs to be made. You can see she's looking out at her, uh, the window trying to decide something. So let's see what you have to decide here, Virgo, or somebody that you're dealing with or thinking about. God, please give me the best message for Virgo. Holy Spirit, please give me the best message for Virgo. All these, same thing happened at the last reading. Okay, so I got to take them the way they came out. We got a Six of Pentacles. <laughs> which is equal, equal give and take, very good card, uh, equal reciprocity, uh, abundance, could be dealing with an Aquarius, there's a star in there, um, lots of orange and, orange and red, okay, love it, so there's a, you need strength, there's a decision that needs to be made, Ooh, I never noticed there's a little um, camper on the two of wands down there. So she's thinking about travel with the globe. She's thinking about a journey, camping, surfing. That's a surfboard there. Sounds like what I'm thinking about. <laughs> I'm so bored this summer. I am definitely doing something this weekend, even if it's by myself. Okay, what else we got? Six of Wands, yay! Someone is in the spotlight. Either they have a platform, some something to do with music, because that's like a microphone, but with a torch on it. Divine, divinely, a gift from the divine here. Sixes could be very significant in this reading. A six breaks down to a three. Threes are um, prosperous. If you, you could be seeing 6-6. Six, six. You could be seeing 33-333-666, six, 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 which people think is e an evil number, but it's actually not. If you look it up on the angel numbers, okay, this is amazing. I can't believe Spirit had them all drop out like that. Same thing happened with Taurus. Okay, there's a King of Swords here, or this could be you. Uh, Virgo, this could be you, male or female, it, it's all about the energy you're in, but the King of Swords, you see the owl, very wise, lots of wisdom, uh, that's how he got to be the King of Swords, uh, or, or she got to be the King of Swords, because a lot of battles, you, a lot of times, gift, you don't start get, knowing that you have uh, spiritual gifts or um, even a, a direct connection to God 
unless you go through a lot. Yeah. Okay, so let's see who, what, what else. And then there's a page of swords. These are all what fell out. So this king of swords is on the strength card. So it's telling me that you have to have patience or this person is being methodical and having patience. And, okay, let's, okay, on the two of wands, the decision card, you have a page of swords, which is a new idea. So someone has a new idea. That could be what this six of wands is here. Let's see. It's all making sense. I love it. And it makes sense. Okay. Let's clarify, Spirit. Please clarify who's the King of Swords and what's up with the Page of Swords. Okay. <laughs> Taurus just got this too. Fool card. On the Six of Pentacles, the equal give and take. Someone's taking a leap of faith on this. I love it. Love this. Can't believe how similar. Taurus didn't get the Two of Wands, though. They got Two of Cups. So maybe you're dealing with the Virgo who is making a decision on this, or I don't know. There's a, a few scenarios, but I just know that these are very good cards. I haven't seen one negative card here yet. Spirit, please clarify this fool card. Who's coming in for Virgo? Or what is Virgo taking a leap of faith here? Is that what the Six of Wands is? New project, something? Or is this, please, please, Spirit, give me the best message for Virgo. Got these upside down. Give me the best message for Virgo, Spirit. Oh, my gosh. You got the Empress on the Six of Wands. This is you, probably, Virgo, you, male or female. This is definitely you standing in your power, Empress. Beautiful. Um... She, she's pregnant with the world on, on uh, there, to me, with, with the Six of Wands, you birthed a new project. Or maybe this King of Swords is coming in with a new project, but we got an Empress here, so that's unbelievable, Virgo. Unreal. Either you're dealing with an Empress, Virgo, and, and you're the King of Swords, or you are the Empress. Take it as it resonates. Another three on the Empress card. Threes are definitely significant here. Sixes and threes. Spirit, please clarify the Empress. Where'd that go? Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. And I'm going to keep going here. This is on the King of Swords. So he that's probably what this Page of Swords, this new idea is. This is a phenomenal reading. Lots of money, you know, uh, pentacles. I, I don't see a lot of cups, but it, it's like it's uh, all about this new idea for... Maybe it's a work relationship or birthing a new idea together. There's definitely something together. Got the two of wands, okay. All right. Oh, okay. Now I got the four of cups, but that is on that two of wands. So someone's looking at the past. Um, you can see, you know, she's being offered that cup there from the divine. But looking at those three cups that she lost. But that's in the past. That's it. That's in the past. Okay. So. Alright. We got the chariot card. And the fool card. The fool card's the leap of faith. The chariot is moving forward on the leap of faith. If you were stuck. If, if things were stuck. They're moving forward. Three of Pentacles, collaboration, makes all kinds of sense. So you probably do have a King of Swords coming in, or you're the Empress dealing with the King of Swords. Take it like take it how you 
It resonates. All I know is that there is nothing negative in this reading, Virgo. Okay, Three of Pentacles is collaboration. Best card in the deck. And that's for you, Virgo. That's for you. Hope this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe if it resonates. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much.